Uh, see what it did to my handlebar when the tie down broke off. Literally just came apart and um, like like landed on the ground. Dragged it through about not too maybe like five ten feet across the median, but uh, I got all these things to replace now. Never really liked the OEM bars from the this the newer models. The Maguros, the older ones, are great, but these uh, these things here, the neck and bars are. I don't know something about the bend on them. I just don't like it, so I ordered some CR highs to do grips and hand guards, all that stuff. So get that installed. And see if I like it better. This way, it'll look a bit the stock bars here. Put the all the grips and stuff off. I've got. I think you can reuse one of the uh, mounting systems, both of them actually. So I didn't order any here. Um, but I'll probably just replace both handguard um, metals because I have it. And then uh, I'll use these orange ones instead of the black ones that come with it. Because on this one, you cannot get to that thing. tore up pretty good all those screws key you can't remove so it's getting there so I got the new ones on there it's pretty nice looking so the colors pretty right on I like the way it says pretty taper there on the sides and the contour but yep we get the rest of the grips and the um, hand guards back on. We're good to go. Okay, there's new bars and grips and stuff. Pretty good. One little fiddly bit though. If you have a KTM like this one, there's a uh, little cable right here. It goes up into the, the uh, burn boot brake. And when you release it, there's an on off switch basically for the rear brake. So that's what this extra thing is sitting there for. So um, you have to actually take this whole boot off, the rubber sleeve, sleeve or whatever. And uh, it fits right in between on the, on the side here. That's pretty good though, but we're getting there. Now uh, it's time for the hand guards. Uh, so the, I had to put the OEM guards back on there because uh, Rocky Mountain does not carry the CRM Psychro hand guard that's like goes over not enough. Now these things are not very good, but the OEM ones, but it'll keep the, the wind off and some brush until uh, I get the ones from Cycle Gear. But yeah, it looked pretty good, I think. So like right here, that's the um, the mounting part. So it was like you can see it here. The um, connection right down there on the ones that come with mine have three holes to that. So this is the part number they shipped me. Rocky Mountain did 1C YC70502 and I think it's just a 706 is the dead. So this is the uh, incorrect part number and uh, you can see in the new ones here this is uh, says CRM replacement um, that's just the way uh, Psycho is calling it uh, but they look very similar uh, same packaging obviously uh, big key difference these holes see here see so see those it's got like three of them and uh, non CRM ones um, they just have like a slotted one 
Guess I can continue my uh, work here. So I don't know if you can see inside this thing, but when you squeeze that trigger, but it lets off that little button. And they have these things, the plastic behind it has an easy way of just falling backwards. So you gotta, I had to kind of just use a screwdriver to pry the, and force the uh, stems open so that it clicks in there a little better. But yeah, before I put the cover on, I wanted to show you that a little bit. So that's the uh, metal park it back on there, on the left side there. I don't know why, but this time, this cable right here, which is the clutch cable, um, looks like it's got a little bit more space. It's not being infringed on. It's only touching slightly. Just before with the neck and bars, it was uh, really tight right there. I don't know what the difference is, but yeah, next steps. My hand guards are installed. New bars. That look good. They're bare to get on there. Those, those screws right there kind of strip out. Pretty easy. You gotta use a lot of hand strength to get them on there. But yeah. All done.